Hi everyone, today is going to be um, a small haul video and I was planning to publish a different video today. I actually have two videos that are um, ready and I just sort of keep them for the days when, um, when I'm busy with something else. So anyways, today I received uh, my Amazon um, delivery and I think this is one of the last things, there might be one more coming. And um, also I have received my replacement from Hit Kip, uh, Hit Hip Kit Club. And so I wanted to show you that. Also, the way I started doing these whole videos is that after I kind of briefly show you and um, show you the products that I did buy, I then go ahead and try them out where, where I can because I think um, essentially sometimes you're very excited about a product and when you try it it's not as great as you kind of were hoping for or expecting and I, I think it's useful to um, show you how the products work so that you can make your mind up whether you want um, or you need it um, in your art supplies collection so um, so yeah so that's what I'm intending to do also when I buy certain things for example this one I have found myself and um, it's the acetate words by Heidi Swap and I don't know how they're going to work exactly because um, historically I never liked acetate because I find it difficult to stick because you then see the glue and some of the glue really don't work but I will I have seen that people just use the Tombow kind of adhesive to run it behind and then when you stick it somewhere like um, patent paper or something like that it you kind of need to work around it a little bit and you can make it look really fancy so the words that come here uh, in this package is fancy beautiful lucky smart fabulous shine I think I can um, exclamation mark and fresh so these are the words and it's eight eight pieces. It says that these three items actually I saw on um, Ali Brown's videos and she used them quite a few times and it really made me want to go and buy them and so some of the items that I buy are already sort of researched and reviewed by other artists and then I know for sure that they're great and um, so that's that's what makes me purchase them when I see them in action. So these, this is the um, deco foil, and it comes in transfer sheets. The one that Ali Brown used were um, flat sheets, and I went and ordered these kind of um, sheets that are rolled up. So I'm not sure the difference between them, but I think this one was cheaper, so I went for that. So full fabric and paper, and. Yeah, I'm excited to try it because she used this quite a few times in her journaling and it looked really good. So there is an ad adhesive pen and what you do essentially is you write out your script or you can use this pen to create patterns or you can um, use it through a stencil, whatever takes you fancy and then you or maybe even on stamping you can do it, I haven't tried, um, but yeah, so, and then on top you lay this um, foil and then I think you have to really um, give it a good wrap and then you lift the foil and you should have the gold or the metallic transfer to your paper. And here are all the different colours you can get them in, hopefully you can see. And yeah, so I will try this out later on. Also, I have ordered the Lamy pen, which I have seen in her videos a lot of uh, um, a lot of times. And um, so, anyways, um, so this pen I have seen Ali Brown use a lot, and she kept saying that it's Safari Lamy, and so I researched it, and I didn't pay too much attention when I bought it, but. Um, I keep mine here. So the one I went and bought just because I like the colours, this matte kind of black 
and it said it's a fine um, tip or fine um, nib and I thought that's perfect for me and that's why I went and bought it but I didn't actually research that there is an extra fine and if you see me um, <clears throat> did I actually use it I might have put a picture on Instagram where um, I said that I wish it was uh, thinner it was finer and so then I um, <clears throat> did a, a bit of a more extensive research and I found out that this one is extra fine so that should be even thinner and it looks gorgeous it's white it's glossy and the uh, nip is silver and if I can compare them side by side I haven't obviously used it yet but let's see if the nip looks any different yeah so if you can see hopefully I'm trying to see to show you so the black one has like a rounded tip whereas the white one has no not no kind of oops no tip there I mean it's like a ball kind of ball thing and here is nothing there so that probably makes it thinner I don't know so when it comes new it has this like a ring which you have to remove and it always comes with the blue colored uh, uh, ink what is it called a bullet ink bullet an ink insert I don't know and then once you remove that ring and put the bullet back in you can actually um, and then you screw this back onto it and then it clicks and you can write but I'm not going to use the blue and in fact I have also um, researched the um, different inks and there is an ink that is bulletproof which I will go ahead and order there was one left on Amazon which I hope I can still grab before it goes so that's that and then very quickly I just wanted to update you regarding the hip kit club um, cardboard uh, chipboard stickers the 43 pieces from Maggie Holmes carousel collection which was trying to think now in the August I think it was um, yeah in the August kit I think and the one that I um, ordered last time was faulty had kind of like um, cuts and prints on it like doubled um, cutout prints and um, so I contacted the company and I told them and although it's taken quite a long time because I think they might have they, they straight away said that they can send a replacement but I think they forgot about it then and a couple of like, weeks later I reminded them and they have sent it out after that email straight away so basically I'm trying to encourage you if something comes to you and it's faulty do take a picture of that um, faulty item and send it back to the company contact them and they will be happy to um, send out a replacement even though it may take a bit of time but at least you know you have um, a good quality product which are uh, this is this is the way I always am actually with every company that I order from if something comes and it's not the quality that I expected straight away I'll get back to the company about it okay so let's go ahead and try a few bits and pieces okay so in terms of the ink that I was just talking about by the bullet proof ink it's called noodlers ink and I'm going to order the one in black it seems to be quite costly the bottle is about 15 pounds um, um, so yeah and then also I will need to get I think a Lamy Safari converter as well for this pan because I'm intending to so basically <clears throat> so this pan that I have here, the fine nib, I am using black ink from Lamy and it kind of does this spread when you write on top of something. So if it's just paper, it's fine. But as soon as there is a bit of watercolor beforehand and even though it's dry, I find that what happens is that the uh, ink starts to spread. So 
So basically I use it just for writing, just on clean, um, clear paper, um, with no medium on it. And then this pen I want to use on, for writing on watercolour and kind of do like journaling kind of scripty thing. So that's why I'm going to order the other um, ink for it. But also that Nudner's ink, I saw it comes with a, um, uh, with a fountain pen as well. And I think I'm going to order that as a set because I am intending to use that to go over uh, like things like gesso and so that I'm not too afraid to mess up the nib because this one is quite expensive. This cost me about I don't know, 22, 25 pounds altogether with shipment shipping. Um, this one was cheaper, I think about 15 pounds maybe, 12 pounds, about 15 pounds I think. So this one is more expensive and I don't know whether that's because it's the fine, um, extra fine nib. But it could be that. So that is about the inks. Okay, so let's move on to the deck of foil. Basically, <clears throat> I'll have to look. If the video is too long, I might do this separately. But um, so on the back of the packaging, it says that you can use it in two ways. You can use it, option one, laminator. Or you can use the cutting die cutting machines. So in essence, this is to do with heat. And option two is basically pressure, applying pressure. Now I remember um, Ali Brown. She, I don't remember if she did it with the heat gun, but she definitely done the um, scrubbing um, technique. So that's this is what I'm intending to do because I don't have one or the other they're super expensive these die cutting machines and laminators i don't have that and frankly i have already enough art supplies to be adding that to my um, collection so i'm going to take it out of the packaging and there comes an extra tip uh, one second sometimes they do these packaging and um, so that you really can't get anything out so there's the extra tip right here. I'm trying to keep it somewhere safe so I don't um, lose it. And let's see what we can create. So here what I have done is just I have some watercolor kind of um, background. And I think what I will try to do is use the stencil the Jane Davenport stencil and see whether I can actually blot on top. So the way you use this, uh -huh, stay. oops, I've got my heat gun ready as well just in case, um, but I want to try both techniques, see how they work. So I'm just trying to well, it's a different tip. So this one is the rounded tip and this one is the scripted tip. I guess this is why you, you, you have the two tips. Okay, so it says you need to press on for a while until it starts, um, the adhesive starts to come out. I'm just going to use this little scrap paper and let's see. Do, 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 do. This might take a while. Okay, so on the packaging it said to hold it down and um, to press down the nib and hold it for about 30 seconds. And that's what I've done. And I will... Just trying to, to think. I'm going to do two flowers and I'm going to do them in um, two different techniques side by side so that we can see the difference. So. You can either use, um, okay, so what it does here, it actually transfers, so it picked up some of the watercolour, I hope you can see that, and it kind of has transferred it, but I guess it probably doesn't matter because you're going to cover it with the gold foil. But I'm just letting you know what's happening here. So, 
So you're supposed to either freehand it or use a stencil, which is what I'm doing. And then you let it sit for 30, up from 30 to up to a minute, 30 seconds up to a minute to get it sort of a little bit dry and tacky. Um, and then you press the foil down. So I'm very excited to try it out and see how it actually works. So I think I'm just going to do a little detail over here like this. Okay. So maybe this should be enough. So that's my stencil. I'm going to let it dry for the time that they suggest or they recommend. Also the nib I have noticed has picked up some colours so I'm going to dry it on a piece of tissue. Well not dry it but try to clean it up a little bit. And it doesn't seem to go but at least the adhesive that's coming out is clear. Okay so I'm going to clean my stencil quickly and then come back.